Welcome to the Blue Coat SSL Visibility Appliance First Steps. This video tutorial describes the deployment scenario of the SSLV appliance configured to decrypt inbound traffic and send it to both active and passive security devices with an option on power failure to forward the traffic to the other side of the network bypassing both security devices. Examples of this would be with the next generation firewall or IPS that is in line with your network traffic. We will perform the following activities to complete the configuration. First, we will install the SSLV appliance in the network. Then, import a known server key and certificate. Create a basic rule set and then a segment for an active inline mode. At this point, we will run a test to verify that no traffic is being blocked by the SSL visibility appliance. Create a rule to decrypt specific SSL traffic and test this rule verifying traffic is decrypted. In an active inline deployment, the SSL visibility appliance is connected to the network as a bump in the wire, which means it is not an active device itself. It is unnoticed by other devices, although the security device connected to it is active. The SSLV appliance decrypts SSL traffic and sends it to the security device. First, connect the management port on the SSL visibility appliance to your management network. Then, connect the network ports in pairs because the failure modes will allow us to select corrective options. Port 1 and Port 2 can auto-connect in a software or power failure. Also, Port 3 and Port 4, and so on. With Port 1 connected to the inside local network and Port 2 to the outside network or router, Port 3, the active security device, Port 4, the other side of the active security device, and Port 5 to the passive security device. A failure will send all traffic between the inside LAN switch and the outside router, bypassing both security devices. The loss in this case will be the security devices and the SSL decryption. When the SSL visibility appliance is in line, traffic is sent to the security device. The active security device may find some of the traffic to be bad, for example, containing a virus or malware, in which case it will get blocked dropping the flow. If the active device returns the traffic back to the SSL visibility appliance, it is assumed to be good or virus-free. It is re-encrypted and sent to the destination. To inspect traffic inbound to an internal SSL server, you must export a copy of the server's SSL certificate and private key and upload them to the SSL visibility appliance. Let's log into the SSL VA web user interface to begin the configuration. We have already exported the certificate from an internal SSL server, so we just need to import the file into the SSLV appliance. In the web UI, select the PKI tab and the Known Certificates and Keys. In the Known Certificates with Keys list panel, click on the All Known Certificates with Keys list. In the panel below, click the plus icon to add a certificate. In the resulting window, Specify the files to import, noting the supported file types. Enter the password you used when exporting the certificate. If the file is a PFX that contains both the certificate and the key, it will be recognized by the SSL VA. Click Add. If the certificate is valid, you will receive confirmation. Click OK, and the certificate will appear in the Known Certificate with Keys panel. Apply the changes. A rule is used to match against a specific SSL flow or set of flows. We will create a rule to allow all traffic to pass through the SSL VA in a cut-through mode, meaning no decryption will take place. The SSL VA will act as a wire, ensuring everything is connected properly. Under the Policy tab, select Rule Sets. You may add, remove, or clone rule sets. Click the plus icon to add a rule set. In the window, enter a name for the rule set, then click OK. Apply the change. In the Rule Set option panel, click the pencil icon to edit, and make sure the Catch All action is set to Cut Through. Click OK. Apply the change. A segment is a group of interfaces that receive traffic. 
It enforces the rule set use and determines the deployment mode. The segment distributes the traffic according to the policy within the rule set and copy mode. To create a segment, go to the Policies tab and select Segments. The display contains a graphical display of the system. In the Segments pane, click the plus icon to add. In the new window, select Edit, then the Active Inline Fail to Network diagram on the right and click OK. Select the rule set we just created. Set the session log mode appropriately and enter a description in the comments box, then click OK. The new segment will appear. Apply the policy changes. To activate the new segment, in the Segments panel, select the segment, click the Mark for Activation icon. In the Activation window, set the ports as described and are highlighted in pink. One side of the network, then the other. At this point, you will use a copy port for the passive security device to receive a copy of the inspected traffic. Click Next. To make this change take effect, apply the policy changes. When complete, the active segment should have a green background. Verify the active ports. With a rule set in place, we now pass traffic through the SSL Visibility Appliance to ensure we see the traffic we expect. Open a browser from the client machine ensuring you connect to the internal SSL server. To test and verify the SSL Visibility Appliance is not blocking traffic, you can view the OnBox SSL session log. Is all traffic being blocked? If so, your SSL Visibility Appliance may not be connected properly to the network. Review the steps for your deployment mode. To see a list of recent SSL sessions, select Monitor SSL Session Log. Look for the domains of the servers you accessed and observe the value in the action column. Since the initial rule you created cuts through all traffic, the action should say cut through for all sessions. To set the SSL visibility appliance to decrypt SSL traffic, we will add a rule that decrypts everything from a specific source address. For testing purposes, we will use a single IP address of our test machine. Under the Policies tab, Select Rule Sets. In the Rule Sets panel, select the rule set we previously created. In the Rules panel, click the plus icon to insert a new rule. The Insert Rule dialog displays. For action, select the appropriate decryption action of Decrypt Certificate and Key Known. You may set either the specific known certificate with key, selecting the certificate we imported, or the known certificate with keys selecting all known certificates with keys. For source IP, enter the IP address of your computer. Click OK. Apply the policy changes. To test, open the browser on your test machine and browse to the internal SSL server. To see the SSL traffic has been decrypted, click on the Monitor tab and select the SSL session log. Review this log for SSL sessions from your browser. As you configure your SSL Visibility Appliance, you may be general or very specific with the rules that you apply, depending on the traffic you wish to decrypt. See the Administration and Deployment Guide for more details. Visit the Bluecoat SSLV First Steps Web Guide, available at BlueTouch Online, to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using your SSLV appliance to secure your network. For suggestions or comments about this video tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.